autistic children can really struggle with issues around eating, and there are a number of reasons that this happens. First of all, sensory issues, which are a really important aspect of autism, can really impact your child's experience of eating. So the way that something smells, the way that something's presented, the texture of a food can really impact that, those sensory issues. And even things like the location of where you're expecting them to eat, whether they're eating as part of a group, the sounds of other people eating, all of those things can impact the experience that your child is having and the difficulties they may have. Additionally, if your child is feeling really anxious, that's going to make it harder for them to eat because they might find it hard to eat because they're anxious or it might increase those sensory needs around eating. Autistic children might want to eat the same food over and over again and this can be in part because the world can feel like a really scary, overwhelming, chaotic place for an autistic child and they have more control over what they eat than over a lot of things so if they can feel that they have some control over what they're allowed to eat that can really help. Additionally, you might wonder, well, okay, it's the same food, but it's a different brand, why won't they eat it? But what you're not realizing is that those small differences in taste or seasoning or texture can be really noticeable if you have sensory needs and you're autistic. So what that means is that they're likely to have foods which I would describe as safe foods, the foods that they know that they can safely eat without any problems in terms of anxiety or sensory needs. Often this is the brown foods or pasta or chicken nuggets or chips and parents can worry that their children are not eating a well-balanced diet but it's really important that autistic people feel that they have some autonomy over what they're choosing to eat and if they are feeling more comfortable eating those safe foods, then I would advise letting them do that while stretching them slightly. And what that would look like for me is that with my autistic children, I will say, okay, I want you to try a new food, but you're gonna have all of your safe foods and just one mouthful of the new food. And if you don't like it, I won't ask you to eat it again. And using this strategy, I've increased the amount of foods that they will eat without making them feel negative connotations around sitting down and eating with us as a family. So the recommendations that I would make to make eating a comfortable and safe situation for your child would be consider their sensory needs. If they're finding something uncomfortable in the environment, consider being flexible about where they eat their foods. Make sure that they're comfortable with the crockery and the cutlery that you're using. Some autistic children might have difficulties with the sounds of other people eating and might feel more comfortable eating on their own or they might feel more comfortable sat at the table but using headphones so that they can cover up the sounds of other people eating. I would say listen to your child. They will be communicating what their needs are around eating and don't feel that you've got to conform to typical standards for expectations around children's eating and be flexible about what they need and then they can feel safe and comfortable and would be more likely to try new things or feel that they can eat as part of the family.